Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to install Eve NG on VMware Workstation step by step. Let's get started. First, open VMware Workstation and click Create a new virtual machine. A new window will appear. Leave the setting as typical, recommended, and click Next. On the next screen, leave the default option selected and click Next again. In the Guest Operating System section, choose Linux, and under Version, select Ubuntu 64-bit. Click Next. Here you can type any name for your virtual machine and choose any location to save it. If you're OK with the default location, just leave it as it is and click Next. Now set the disk size to 30 GB or more. If your system has enough space, a larger disk will give you better performance. Leave the other options as default and click Next. Click Finish to create the virtual machine. Now let's edit some settings to improve performance. Increase the memory to at least 8 GB or more if possible. The more memory you allocate, the smoother EVNG will run. You can also increase the number of processors if your system has enough cores. Make sure the Virtualize Intel option is turned on. You'll also need the EVNG ISO image file. You can download it from the official EVNG website. Once you've downloaded it, go to the CD slash DVD ISO section, browse for the ISO file, select it, and click Open. Next, go to the Display section and uncheck Accelerate 3D Graphics. If you want isolated communication between your host machine and your virtual machines, without any external network or internet access, add another network adapter. For this tutorial, I'm choosing Custom, VM Net1, Host Only, for internal communication. The other adapter will remain NAT for internet connectivity. Once you've made these changes, power on the virtual machine and we'll continue with the remaining setup. On this screen, click on the Install option and press Enter. Just a quick note, you'll need to click inside the Virtual Machine window first to give it control. If you're doing this for the first time, don't worry if the mouse feels a bit different. That's normal when switching between your host machine and the virtual machine. Now simply wait for the installation to complete. This part can take a while, so be patient and let it run. Don't press any keys or click anything until the setup finishes on its own. Once the installation finishes, you'll see the Language Selection screen. Choose English or your preferred language, then press Enter. Next, select your preferred keyboard layout and click Done. When prompted, select Continue and press Enter. The setup will now begin. This part can take some time, so just be patient and let it complete on its own. Now here's something very important that most tutorials don't mention, and it's crucial you do this correctly. When the setup finishes, you'll see a Reboot option. At this point, click Reboot, and right after that, quickly go to the VMware menu, right-click on the Eve NG tab, go to Removable Devices, CD, DVD, and disconnect the ISO image. This step is critical. If you skip it, the VM might boot from the installer ISO again instead of your new Eve NG installation. That can restart the installer or cause problems later. So remember, as soon as you click Reboot, immediately disconnect the DVD option to make sure the VM boots from the hard disk and not from the installer image. In the second stage of installation, you'll see a login prompt appear. But don't do anything here. The setup is not finished yet. Don't press any keys or try to log in. Just leave it as it is and let the process run. Once again, this stage can take some time, so don't worry. Just give it a little patience. You'll know the setup is complete when the system restarts automatically and you see the Eve NG interface. That means the installation has finished successfully. Once you see this window, it means you can now log in using the default username and password. The default login is username root password eve. After logging in, you'll see a blue setup screen with some configuration options. First, you'll be asked for the root password. 
Just leave it blank and press Enter. Leave this blank as well and press Enter. For the hostname and domain name, leave them at default. Now you'll be asked to configure the network settings. Here you can choose between DHCP and static IP. If you select DHCP, the system will automatically get an IP address from your network's router. If you select static IP, you can manually assign an IP address yourself. In this tutorial, I'll choose static IP. Press the down arrow key, then press spacebar to select static, and press enter. Now let's fill in the network details. First, type the management IP address. This is the address you'll use later to open EVNG in your browser. Make sure it's in the same range as your host network and not already in use. For the subnet mask, just type 255.255.255.0, which works for most home or lab setups. Next, enter the default gateway, which is usually the IP address of your router. And for the primary DNS server, you can either use the same as your gateway or a public DNS. Leave the remaining settings as they are and press Enter. The system will then restart, and you'll see the EVNG interface. Give it some time to load. When it finishes booting up, log in again with the username root and the password eve. Press Enter, and you will see this type of window. It means you are all good to go. Before we continue, you'll need to install the required software. Download it from the official website. The link is in the description below. Once installed, Open the software, enter the hostname you set earlier, and log in with the username root and the password eve. Now, we need to upload some files into a specific folder. Just follow along with me. Here on the screen, you can see the folder path where we'll place the files. Download the required image files. You can easily find them online or directly on the official EVNG website. I've already downloaded mine, so I'll be using those for this tutorial. On the left side of the software, browse to where your downloaded files are stored. Select the files you want to upload. Then click the Upload button. All the selected files will automatically upload to the folder path we just opened. Once the upload completes, you're ready to move on to the next step. Open VMware and get ready to type a few commands. Don't worry. Every command will appear clearly on the screen. Type the first command exactly as shown, ending with slash bin slash, then press Enter. After that, type the next command and press Enter again. As you can see, we're getting some errors. Things like fix permissions, or error at line 71. Don't worry, this is normal and easy to fix. You might run into the same issue on your setup too. To solve it, we'll use another tool called Putty. It's a free program and we'll also be using it later in the tutorial, so installing it now is a good idea. You can download Putty directly from its official website. I've added the link in the description below. After downloading PuttyY, Open it. In the host name field, type the IP address or host name you set earlier. You can also find it on your EVNG window. Once entered, click open. A terminal window will appear. Log in using username as root and password eve. Now type the following three commands one by one. Copy the first command, paste it into Patisai, and press enter. Then type the second command, Press Enter, and finally do the same with the third command. Once you've finished running all the commands, minimize the window and return to your VMware machine. From the VMware menu, click Restart to reboot EVNG. The system will restart and apply the changes. After the restart, log back in using the default credentials, username as root and password eve. You'll notice that both errors are now fixed and everything is running without any issues. Now it's time to access EVNG from your browser. Open your preferred browser and type the IP address you assigned earlier. 
This is the management IP address you configured during setup. This address lets you open the EVE NG web interface directly from your host machine. When the login page appears, enter the default credentials. Username as admin and password is EVE. Click Sign In, and you'll be taken to the EVE NG dashboard where you can start creating and managing your labs. This confirms everything has been set up correctly, and your EVE NG environment is ready to go.